Alright, welcome ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls to Honcast here on to our season four cycle number eight playoffs is finally here. This is it. This is it for the regular season this weekend at least. Of course, coming up, this being the final cycle, this being the playoffs, this being the top four teams remaining in this specific cycle. Going to duke it out to see who will claim the Cycle A Championship. And definitely a little bit more on the line, which, uh, of course, Sync and Complexity are the two teams that are the big focus for obvious reasons. Simply put, whoever finishes better here in these playoffs will get that number one overall seed and will get that automatic invite to the World Finals. Hosted in Thailand in the month of June. So obviously, that's going to be the big focus here this weekend. But excited to be here in general as we definitely got four teams going at it. Great teams going at it. And should be an overall great weekend of Heroes of New Earth. Definitely ahead to come. So looking forward to kicking it off here with, well, as every match will be, a very important one. Complexity versus Bad Monkey Gaming. This is a loser's bracket matchup. Complexity finishing in that third spot overall. Going to be taking on BMG, who came in fourth in the group stages. So it starts right here for Complexity. You know, sure, they need to finish better than the sink, but, well, if they don't win this series, then there's no chance of that. So that's that that should be their focus right now, nothing uh, nothing in the future. So, again, that's going to be the exciting, exciting thing to see what happens here in this series. With that said, uh, we're already getting well into the draft, but before we do, of course, got to introduce my co-caster for today. I'm going to be joined by Shorkan. How's it going, man? It's going pretty good. I mean, I already got to see De Deadpool, so, you know, I'm, I'm just, I, oh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm content. I am content. <laughs> and I also managed to watch Star Wars, so, you know, all my cinema going has been uh, successful. Wow, yeah, you've had a great week here as far as that, that's concerned. Yeah. Yeah. I actually got the chance to check out Deadpool yesterday myself, so. It yeah. was a fantastic movie, I thought. No spoilers. No, no spoilers. spoilers. All right, no. But this is about Heroes of New Earth here, not, not about Deadpool. Uh, no. no, but uh, we, we got, again, a great series here, of course. Again, obviously, once again, the big focus, though, is complexity. Can they take out BMG here? Now, we are, we are in a postponement here. Obviously, we were an hour delay. I do apologize for that. I guess one of the teams, uh, one of the players, wasn't going to be able to make it earlier. So uh, they did postpone it an hour. Thus, why we're starting now. But, uh, again, should be good from here on out. So, well, we already got uh, a little bit of the draft to talk about, so let's, again, get into that. Uh, I did have to reconnect, so I don't have the initial bands, unfortunately. Uh, uh, should I help you out yeah, with that? Yeah, what were they? All right, so original bands were uh, Parasite, Tundra, Midas, and they're, so, they're talking so much, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Okay, wait. So it was um, Midas, Tundra, Parasite, and Hellbringer. Okay, so Hellbringer taken out by Complexity there from uh, yeah. BMG. Interesting stuff. Okay, so we had the actual picks, though, of Ophelia and Warbeast, Rhapsody into Behemoth, Dr. Repulsor into Magebane. So interesting with the Doctor pick, third pick right there. Doctor really hasn't been a popular carry as of late, but uh, they decided to pick it up here. Yeah, I mean... It's all to do with the change to Grimoire and Icon and everything, you know, just slowing down your region, et cetera, et cetera. But um, I like what com Complexity is doing, doing, although it might be a bit greedy against an Ophelia Rhapsody, you know, Doctor combo. They are picking Mage Pain simply for the ultimate versus Doctor. So this forces Balthazar to go for a Null Stone. Because mm -hmm. if he doesn't, he's going to... Get one shotted by Mage Bane almost every fight if they don't manage to shut him down at all. Regardless of Mage Bane's farm, he's going to do ridiculous amounts of damage to Dr. Repulsor. Yeah. And uh, it is kind of greedy, but, you know, complexity, they always pick for the late game, and they're definitely securing it with uh, their picks right now. Yeah. Well, Mage Bane, of course, one of the best at that, and... Well, Behemoth, obviously great at that as well. And then, of course, Warby. So, yeah, absolutely looking at that. Definitely a much late-game team here by Complexity, as you would almost expect here. So, the bands to follow, Prisoner, Pebbles, Prophet, Magmus, Aluna, and Kinesis. So, somewhat player-specific here bands, including the Kinesis. We, I mean, we've been seeing teams even banning Kinesis initially against BMG here. Um, who, by the way, is looking, despite, you know, they, they finished fourth in the end, but still... Uh, they, they were looking overall pretty good here in the group stages. And, you know, Isla and Gogo joining the team this cycle. It kind of seems like things are really strong again for this team. So, Complexity, I mean, this really is a tough series here for Complexity going up against this BNB yeah. team. 
How did they manage in the group stages versus BMG? Ah, uh, good I point. I, I, I think they might have gone one one. Uh, you see, I think Complexity two owed them, but we'll, 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 let me confirm that here real quickly. I, I think they two owed them because I do remember looking at that when there was possible like the later part of the groups and possibilities of ties and stuff. But yeah, pulling it up here, yeah, Complexity did go two zero over BMG okay. on the very first day there. So. They do have that going for them, but obviously that's that's the past. <laughs> yeah, but Different you know game. they were warming up with Iceland Gogo, -Go, so you know. They, there you go. I mean, any any team change is very difficult to deal with. I mean, you saw them struggle a bit. They picked up um, Insania for a bit as well there, and you know, just switching it around all the time really just uh, hurts. Yeah. You know, it's something else to kind of keep in mind, too. Now, obviously, we did have a patch here this early this week. There were there were some changes here and there. I mean, not, there was this wasn't the most radical balance patch ever, but there was a couple of important ones on several heroes and one more noticeable ones. Of course, Lord South Forest did finally get a, a little bit of nerfs, whether or not that's going to ultimately take him out. I don't know if it is. I still think we should expect to see him, honestly. Um, and then Nitro is the other big one, though. Nitro got, got a little bit of uh, changes... All over yeah, the place, really, so. I'm not really sure if it's that bad, though, to be honest. Yeah. Because uh, I'm looking at the changes, and, okay, Ballistic, you know, it's affected his farming ability by making it 75% of the damage behind the target. Then you have the Divide and Conquer now relying on the attack damage rather than the distance traveled by Ballistic. And then Heat Rounds is also reliant on Nitro's attack damage. So if you can get to the point where you're hitting for 300 with Nitro, then that divide and conquer is going to do 35% extra damage. That's huge. Same thing with the heat round, 75% of Nitro's attack damage. So it's like hmm. a nice little late game buff, in yeah. my opinion. But then the early game was nerfed a bit, and, I mean, that was kind of necessary. Yeah. <laughs> I think we witnessed <laughs> enough of that. In, in the little sample size that we did get of him, it's kind of like, yeah, his, his early damage did seem a little ridiculous at points. So, um, yeah, I mean, that kind of makes sense if that was the ultimate case. But, yeah, whether or not that's going to remove him, as you're getting at, probably not, as teams could still see him. Anyways, we got this draft here. Yes. It's finishing off, and what an interesting finish. Devour coming out for BMG, and then we had the final pick of Bubbles for Complexity. But you're going to see some boxy Devo here. That's always mm -hmm. fun. Yeah, last time I casted them, they also picked up Devourer for Boxy, and he, they almost carried the game with it, but it was just not enough. But I, I'm not entirely sure. Like, Lodestone is a great way to address the Mage Vein because it's a really difficult hero to box out, especially for a hero like Andromeda. Mm -hmm. But it still, it still feels to me that BMG could have even gone a bit more aggressive with their draft. You know, instead of a Lodestone... Like what they there there there's just a lot of like aggressive suicides that they could maybe pick for the early game. Lodestone decent, but I I did notice that Magnus was banned, of course. But I'm just trying to look for more options. Like even a Geomancer, for example. I know it's not one picked up often, but or even Swiftblade could have worked. But was Swiftblade banned? I have to check that now. Um, I don't think so. Because I think Swiftblade could have been a great pick here as well. Just to, like then Andromeda can't really do anything. Yeah. Oh, geez. Oh, God. My screen is messing up. <laughs> um, I am reconnecting here real quickly. For some reason, I don't know why this is happening. Ugh, I'm getting this lock issue. God darn it. Oh, the that you lock on a hero? Yeah, the press of uh, the is exact not working. I have the exact same thing. I'm trying to... Really? Okay, right... Okay, go to... Okay, okay, okay. I know how to fix it. Okay. Click on the hero. Click on a hero. Yeah. And then on their portrait on left or right, right click on their portrait. No, the see, I, I... Yeah, and I know about that, but that's actually not oh. working here for some reason. That usually would be the case. I have a couple of things that I usually do, and it works, but for some reason this isn't working. Let me... Let me just restart the game altogether. <laughs> that's kind of <laughs> odd. All right. Hopefully this works here. I'm glad they're paused then. <laughs> yeah, well, what else is new, right? <laughs> Beginning of the game. <laughs> Gotta talk strategy here. So. I mean, it seems fairly simple for Legion. They just go for normal lanes and then, uh, you know, Maki, Suicide, Lodestone, Devour, Middle, Rhapsody, Bottom with Balthazar to start off, and then just go from there. And same thing for Hellborn, actually. It's going to be Behemoth, Suicide, Bubbles, Mid, and Andro, Mage, Main, Top, Orbeez, Woods. Yeah. 
Yes. But I guess overall game strategy. Well, that too, and yeah. Um, you mentioned Boxy on the Diva. We didn't get the chance to see him recently. And yeah, I'd, I forget the matchup that it was in, but he, he definitely dominated the early game. But again, that that is the thing with Devo where he can dominate the early game and ideally set your team up for victory earlier on. But when it comes to the late game, he's not necessarily as impactful. I mean, he's not, not that he's completely useless. I mean, still having the hook, of course, is powerful. And he becomes a massive tank. But it's definitely I mean, not like another snowball hero that could take over and rip, truly win. If he could, I mean, what they're facing right now is a Bubbles, Behemoth, Andro, Warbeast, and Mage Main. So, yeah, yeah, they're facing a lot of physical damage from the two carries. But honestly, the biggest thing they have to deal with is Bubbles and the Behemoth and, you know, all the magic damage coming out from that and even the Mage Main ultimate. So if Boxy could get a barrier early on after his portal key, then that would be a great way to set up them to push towers with less risk. Yeah. Is it still having the issues? Yeah, it is. I restarted the game and everything. I, this is so weird. Um, let me... Did you watch a replay and lock camera or something? No, oh, I haven't done that before. Oh, oh. Okay, well, is there it... we go. So, yeah, I, see, I have this list of things that I do, and usually I don't have to resort to this one, but it, I just went to the options and unchecked lock camera, and sure enough, that <laughs> works. And now I'm able to lock oh, well. and unlock again. God, I swear to God. We're good. That's what matters. Yeah. I just pressed V. All right. I bet chat's spamming that here. <sighs> okay. We're, we're good. Okay. So, we're good. We're... the lanes as you're talking about, really not expecting anything too radical okay. here. Did Oscar just ward in plain sight of Ice and Gogo? -Go? He kind of did. And does he have a rev ward? He certainly does. So he could take care of this right away. I mean, it's a matter of he, will he wait for the 30 second? Probably not, I would have think. No, of course not. But I'm, I'm it, thinking yeah. Oscar, Oscar wasn't seen placing it. Might have just been in fog. Oh, that's your point. Okay. Yeah, the uh, way. Well, oh no. Oh, uh, okay. Well, there we go. Was uh, just in case he was trying to block this camp at the rune spot, but he got it anyway. So well played there. Uh, I love looking at Oscar's items. He literally bought like. Oh, he actually got a hatchet. There what? We go. Why do you get? So you used to like his items. I used. I, it was just like he had, he had bought two items, the Mana Potion and the Mighty Totem, because he wasn't sure if he could be in lane, because it's tough versus a Rhapsody for sure. But, I mean, Doctor is not the worst either. And what is what is Behemoth doing? He is taking an interesting path uh, right here. He's trying to get the Creep Wave, yeah. Right. The hell, hell no. Diagro it and out. Causing issues. Oh, maybe pick it back up. Almost got the whole thing. Missed a couple, though. Well, one even. So but not this, the greatest, but yeah. still. But it gives Doctor the chance to just... Okay, yeah, so it's going to be a 1v1. That's probably why he got the hatchet. Knowing that the Ref City was probably going to do a mid versus Fuzzy Sloth, because, yeah, that's who they need to shut down. And giving Boxy complete free farm to get that portal key can set up a lot for them. Mm -hmm. There we go. So, Dr. Repulsor. Yeah, give him the hatchet, though. I mean, again, it'll allow him to ideally get some... but. Going up against a doctor, you got to figure he's going to be heavily harassed. Right yeah, here, so. I would have, I would have almost liked him to just go for an early chalice and then use that to farm and get last hits, and at the same time, you know, harass the doctor repulsor. Yeah. To be fair, it is Oscar, and he's played yeah. this hero and this role for so long, so mm -hmm. he uh, tends to be pretty good at it. So yeah, we'll, we'll keep an eye on how he progresses yeah. again. Still expecting that pretty. Solid portal key timing here, nonetheless, but just a little observation there. Top lane, Lodestone, the other suicide. He's going to feel some pressure from Andromeda here, but we'll be fine in the end. You see he went the buckler, of course, and good amount of regen here. Mm -hmm. so he's doing he it. had, like, six blights at the start, plus the health potion, so, I mean, Andrew's going to have a really difficult time to box him out. Yeah. And then Warbeast, what you got playing his very iconic hero player combination mm -hmm. really started to know him on it, it's he, he hasn't played it a lot lately i will say that but uh obviously playing it here at least so expecting uh him to do solid in that jungle as middle lane, look at boxy here he's constantly, yeah he's boxing him out yeah, <laughs> alone doing very well at that i mean it is bubbles but he doesn't have take cover yet and i think boxy knows that 
So he's just doing such a good job of keeping lane control. Yeah. In mid, and I know that's not something you see often, and you know, consider important most of the time. But it gives Rhapsody freedom to go for runes without, you know, oh yeah, Bubbles has to run away from the Ophelia. Yeah, that's not good. Already having a lot of trouble. It's not often you see a middle hero level one at two and a half, nearly three minutes into the game. I mean, that, that's actually really ridiculous. Like, yeah. be level one still in the middle lane. Wow. Simply because of the lane control. And I think Boxy knows that he doesn't have to yeah. cover. Oh, he definitely knows now, obviously. So really going <laughs> aggressive. Going to force him to pop the health potion, and he will still remain level one. He he can't even get in range right here. So they're going to lock down two more Buzzy. creeps, by the way. He needs two more creeps for level two. Yeah. So it's not even that he's, you know, getting, like, sure, he might get one more, but then he still has to wait for the other. He's having difficulty enough. But now the lane's going more in his favor, whether it's going to make a difference. I don't think so, because Boxy knows that he doesn't have to take over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, That's he the first creep. can ideally land a hook. Oh, so caught up with that. Meanwhile, bottom lane. Ophelia coming in with a Catman champion, setting up a kill. Back oh, to the, the lane, though. The hook does land against the shelter, but the stuns happen, but it's not enough. So close to getting the kill in a fuzzy soft top lane. Lodestone's going to take some heavy pressure, but he should be fine here. As he, yes, he has a health yeah. potion here. So, but yeah, bottom lane. Behemoth going down, and oh, finally it's level two, but he has dive. no mana. He just take covered right there, actually, on accident. And he goes down right there. So, Boxy, the so much pressure, ends up getting the kill in the end. Wow. He just got the boots and just like, yeah, whatever. I, there's nothing you can do about this. Yeah. I mean, again, it's it's like you pick bubbles to ideally not not counter this, but make it so you ideally just don't die. But yeah, that's not the case here, obviously. Now he does support back, and he's level three now, as he's getting some good experience all of a sudden. But not and I mean, they did start. they did buff bubbles a bit again, didn't they, with the cooldown of uh, his ultimate being shorter and level one, two, th one and two. Making it more viable early on in the game. I think so, at least. Yeah, it used to be like 100. Okay. It wasn't this patch, but maybe, maybe the previous patch. No, 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 patch. last. Okay. Yeah. Andromeda, by the way. Love will get picked off. Trying to do the stack over here now. However, Mage Bane blinking in. Going to pick up a kill onto Rhapsody. And so you got to think it's this is in favor of complexity all of a sudden. And it could possibly be more. Probably not. Lowstone should be fine as he walks away. But yeah, get it. Support's for support. But the fact that Mage Bane got credit for a kill. Yeah, flip mm -hmm. to their better. There, so. That being said, though, even though it's a 2v1, Dr. Repulsor, because of that gank from Ice and Gogo, is also doing really well against uh, Behemoth, who's doing all right. Yeah. He's got 175. It's definitely more than he would get if it was a 1v2, but it's still not as much as you'd expect in a 1v1. Mm -hmm. Devour, there we go. It's level 6 now, so... Bubbles... Most certainly has to be extra careful about that here. So, again, continue to play very, very passive. But like we said before, though, we, we've seen Boxy get off to this great start. And, and again, Devour has the potential to be this snowball. So um, it's that's great for BMG, but by no means is it a setting up to be a very good game here just because of that for BMG. Definitely still a lot more needs to happen. Um, you talk about Mage being obviously, he is having a great time himself. Doctor, though, I haven't talked too much about him, but Balthazar also doing pretty well. Going the Blood Chalice, by the way. I find that a little interesting. Uh, Doctor Repulsor. Not an uh, everyday pickup, but... Yeah. Uh, I mean, it allows him to use his uh, magnetic contraption to harass and farm at the same time without risk of losing much mana. And, you know, you could argue he goes for a bottle, but honestly, when he's having such a good time just free farming, when would he go for the runes? True. Just simply, well, at that point, then it's like, why not get the the ring of sorcery, which seems like, and then build that into the icon, unless he's not planning to go icon, which is possible. I think that that's the case because of the mage man. He's going, he's going to want to go for a nullstone. Okay. And you know, looking at the Hellborn team, they don't have a lot of nullstone counters. They have Andromeda, and that's it. And that's even a Comet Sun, which, you know, 325 magic damage or the Void Rip, but that as well is not an ability you want to use to counter a Null Sun. No. No, that's very true. Yeah, only having one single target ability, essentially, that's not an ultimate to take off the Null Stone. That, that's pretty big. So 
that 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 even makes the possibility of sheep sticks and stuff later on that that must be much less impactful. So, um, yeah, no stun. I definitely see what you're saying there. It seems like it would be the very very ideal pickup, especially to Ophelia getting a ring of sorcery here, uh, as she tends to do. So, of course, you can't necessarily stack that anymore, as you do get the debuff now. So, <coughs> similar to the Energizer and the Astrolabe. Bottom push. Yep. They're going to push the tower in. Try to, at least. Two Catman champions is uh, pretty good for that. Yeah. There's that fissure <laughs> block, though, and Behemoth pretty good at stopping it, so... Not going to be... It's I not going to be the quickest yet. of pushes, but, I mean, Rhapsody is here now as well, and if they really wanted to, they could get this tower. Mm -hmm. But Bubbles was missing from middle, you know, skipping out on creeps in the mid lane, so they know something is going on. Yeah. So they're going to actually not choose to go all out on it. And you do see the Life 2 purchase here on Doctor, so that pretty much signifies that a Null Stone should be coming here. Mid lane, Make is setting up on Bubbles. Oh, he just shell surfed, but the Rocket Drill was just out of range. The timing almost was perfect there, however, being yep. just out of range. I think they might have scouted him out, though, because you saw his positioning was really down below. You see the rev word from Love. I think it would have scouted out him, maybe scouted out the load zone, even if it was for, like, a really short while. Mm -hmm. That's true. Okay. And with up. Bubbles moving back to middle, they have the freedom to take the bottom tower. Yeah. With very little risk. So I like the way BMG is playing this. They're very disciplined right now. They're not diving with the Doctor Repulsor, although, you know, they potentially could choose to do such, you know, risky plays. Yeah. Doctor has that potential, of course, with that ludicrous speed. But, yeah, they're just simply going for the tower kill. They are confident that they should be able to accomplish that, especially seeing Bubbles middle, as you're pointing out. Look at Devourer, by the way, taking out a triple stack yellow camp right there with the rot. So, nice little <laughs> farm for him there. Picking up uh, 370 gold per minute just about for Boxy. What does he got here? Okay, just a mana batter. Oof, going for the hook. Yep. I mean, he's been going for the hook constantly, but just hoping for a chance that it's going to hit. But he did go a lot of buildup, and I like it because you see at bottom they're still pushing. Mm -hmm. They're confident that they can't be stopped with that Astrolabe and the mana ring yeah. on Ophelia. And... About that, Ophelia has ridiculous gold per minute, by the way, for I, just being in woods. Iceland Gogo, -Go, man, this guy just knows how to farm. I feel like that yeah. we always see this on this player. Like, it's no matter what jungler he's playing, too, like Tempest, Ophelia, Parasite, or your Lord South Forest, of course, things like that. I mean, he really just gets farm. Makes it a high and, priority. I mean, I think it was uh, uh, helpful for him to get the first blood, of course, but, True. you know... The case stands. He's 370 gold per minute now with two towers down, and they can scout out this double stack and then take it because they have a Catman and a Skeleton. So, oh. I mean, they're doing a really good job of just making full use of the resources, and BMG is known for doing this, but at the same time, Complexity is doing it on the other side with the Warbeast just freely farming. Yeah. And he's doing a great job as well, seeing as they don't have any tower kills. He's up at 350 gold per minute. Yeah, and only the one assist on top of that, so it's not like he's just spamming W and getting all these assists here either. So, yeah, definitely doing good for that for that sense. But, yeah, stealing these double stack ancients. And th this is such a strong mid-game team, too, that uh, the Legion side has, that BMG has. You know, this really just screams the whole grouping up and pushing as a team early on, of course, and really winning by, say, that 30-minute marker. So, so that's definitely going to be kind of a point to watch out for in this game as we're now only 11 and a half minutes in but definitely looking great for them now this, the first broadsword is purchased by mage bane so just about having the rune cleaver here that's of course and the fact that he's still farming 385 gpm before he's picked that up is obviously great news for complexity too so their carries are definitely accomplishing what they want okay and here comes the train to middle right now by bubbles is actually moving to bottom because doctor is going on behemoth but yep. Balthazar needs to get out of here right now. Not much he could do there, yeah, and he is going to start falling back with Andrew coming in, but there's the kill field. He realizes, though, he needs to take the stun because uh, Kama Stun was coming in, and I think he should be fine. Oh, Ophelia's yes, Touch will guarantee yeah. that. And then they get the free tower in mid. Oh, wow, yeah. 
Everything is just going their way right now. It really is. This is this is all PMG here in this early game. 4,700 gold lead here. But like I said, I mean, the one... Yeah, we kind of predicted it. Yeah, exactly. the draft. If, 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 like, you had to suggest a way that this is going to go. So it's, it's like they're doing what we thought they would do, to be fair. It's, so for mm -hmm. complexity's sake, it doesn't mean that this is an over game by any means. Still but I mean, you chance. can you can like think of it as like a game of uh, you know rock paper scissors. Right now, you right now it seems to be that you know, DMG is the rock, and you have the scissors being uh, complexity. You know, they're just you know farming away, but they're getting countered right now simply because they have an Ophelia. They have this strong early game team with the Rhapsody, Ophelia Devourer, and even Doctor Repulsor. And then later on, it's gonna of course become a different story. Mm -hmm. That's the plan, at least. You see Warbeast over here. He's up 11, actually. He's farming some more while they're pushing middle. <laughs> and I guess just making the best use of his time. Bubbles needs to be careful here. Ooh, he's oh. going to be able to dodge the hook. He just used Take Cover, though, and Shell Surf. So if he gets hooked there, he's 100% he's dead, really. Managed to dodge it. But again, the tower will still fall. So complexity, they're making it clear that they're just not comfortable enough yet to stop it. And it makes sense. No Porta on Behemoth. Their carry is still looking for a bit more farm at least, so. I think Balthazar just might have picked up his Nullstone as well. Already, yeah. So, yeah, but there's the Cleaver on Formless, and he's just going to start split pushing now. It might be too late, though, if uh, BMG can quickly move to the top lane mm -hmm. to start pushing that. Uh, it, it's taking a bit long now, though. They're going for a oh, fight. Ed. There's a jump middle. Shatterstorm coming out. Counter Behemoth, though, with a shock. We're protecting Melody. I don't think that really stopped much, though. Dr. Pulsar does fall. And the Mana Rift actually doing a good amount of damage right there. Rhapsody going to go down. Lowstone chase down as well. So no portal key, says Oscar. Don't worry, I got this. He just runs in, gets a great shockwave off anyways. And they turn it around completely. That was a little over-the-top aggressive move from BMG. Didn't work yeah. out. I mean, they didn't have their mid hero or their really farm jungler, and then they tried for a play that just seemed to be a bit too risky. And I mean, really, just great play by Fuzzy Sloth. He chose to max the silence, being against a Doctor Repulsor, instead of going for anything else. And here comes the hook on Warbies. Oh, well, this is going to be enough, though. It's Warbies. He's probably the tankiest target of this whole crew, and he is going to survive, and so will Bubbles. Who's going away? But look at that portal key on Devour. However, a little too deep once again. He's now in trouble. They do catch Warbeast in the end, making a one for one. Doctor Pulsar chasing. Nice swap out from Andromeda though. Is at least going to save Bubbles, and I definitely think she's dead though. Yeah, she will get picked off in the background there. Behemoth, I think he's going to be just out of range. Maybe not. Rocket Joe from Lodestone up. Can he get the stun? You see Oscar trying to survive as long as possible. But unfortunately, not enough. So it actually kind of works for BMG there in the end. But the top tower also going down while this all happened. So a lot of back and forth, really. I really would have expected them to have a bigger gold lead, though. And it's really not the case. It's only 1.6k gold, but they've yeah. taken out four towers, well, towers, whereas Complexity has taken out two. Two now, yeah. But a lot of that, of course, going back to Magebane, who... In mm -hmm. the first part of that fight, he was there, of course, but as that fight continued on and BMG started making some kills happen, meanwhile, Formless was pushing out top, as we saw, and eventually got the uh, tower kill right there. So he jumps up to 500 gold per minute, and he's obviously doing very well. Now, Andromeda, by the way, uh, well, Love was, uh, s was a little caught up trying to kill the Ophelia neutrals right there, <laughs> and in the end, they turned on him, and he goes down. So a little greedy play by him, but... He to try Behemoth got the portal key now. 16 minutes, good timing. Yep. Oh, mid lane though. Devour? No, middle lane over here. Oh yeah, Doctor, they do jump bubbles. And that should be a kill. Silence coming out. Oh man, a lot of return damage before he dies. I don't think it's going to be enough though. Look at this cutting around. It will be enough. Behemoth comes in with a fissure. He got caught in that kelp field. He chose not to break it. Probably would have died either way in the end. Lowstone, meanwhile, he's tanking up with the shot. Mage blinks in right at the poor timing right there. But in the end, he actually gets away. Rhapsody, don't know if she's getting out of here, unfortunately, with the fish on the rock side. Doesn't matter. She goes down. They like, do kill the top tower while that happens. But losing their carrying doctor does not help the overall cause there. No. And Warbis now has his, uh, what's it called, puzzle box. And I think it's the perfect item to pick up for sure. I mean, looking at the airway from... Uh, 
BMG with the uh, Lodestone Devourer just decaying everywhere, and of course the Doctor Repulsor. Yeah. It's going to be doing a lot of damage if it explodes, and honestly, having a Mage Bin as your main carry, it makes a lot of sense, because it puts your focus more on the split push, and even the team fight aspect, rather than the I'm going to farm, get myself a demonic and, a, and like a heart and become a carry. Yeah. You could also, you know, the mana burn against a Dr. Pulse, of course, helping set up Mage Bane for a bigger mana rift on top of that. Yeah. Ideally with the Nullstone being taken out previously by, say, a Kama Sun or whatever. Tablet, perhaps, if they eventually get one of those, which wouldn't be surprised. But Or, you know, the mana drain canceling the Nullstone in the first place. That too, yeah. Good point. I would like to see a tablet picked up by either Fuzzy or Oscar, just simply to cancel the nose on. Yeah. It's like it's like the cheapest option. Yeah. Without a doubt. Lex Talionis unfortunately doesn't work on nose stones, but for good reason. <laughs> that would be a really What about Spyglass though? You know? Spyglass. <laughs> oh wait, no, no, no! You that apply it to yourself. Now, Never yeah. mind. <laughs> that that would be a nifty thing to nifty addition to Spyglass. Maybe then it could be seen a little bit. But <laughs> if you could get it on someone and then they target someone and they apply scoped to the target and then they can't, or, they their evasion doesn't work anymore. You or, know? or just like yeah, but just make it so their spells are not nullified by a null stone even. Just like, so they can't miss. They Basically, no matter what they do, just doesn't miss no matter what. I mean, that might be a yeah. little ridiculous then. I don't know. But <laughs> that's an I mean, that's what I originally thought the item would do. Yeah. Well. This no, one, yeah. no. Anyway, so BMG is pushing top lane, but you just see the experience, and you have 4.5k in the lead for Hellborn, and of course, a lot of that is in Mage Bane. But even that's incredibly important. That level 16 is going to blow up Dr. Repulsor. And he just picks it up as well. Yep. 19 minutes into the game, he's level 16. Yeah, Formless has kind of, as he tends to do, especially on Mage Man, anyone really. A good Mage Man player to kind of play their own game to an extent. We get a lot of solo experience, up, obviously. and Showing that here once again, as you mentioned, being level 16. And he's going to go back to the bottom lane. They try to catch Devour, but he's a little too quick. Pour the key away before too much happens there. So all the outer towers are destroyed now in favor of BMG. I mean, pre-20 minutes, that's pretty good, actually. But now the question well, is, what are they, they going to do now? Exactly. Like, Mage Man needs one more K for his Shrunken Head, and I definitely think he should go for uh, for a Shrunken in this game. Mm -hmm. Sim yeah, Midgen is all magic, except for, you know, Lodestone, physical damage. But, yeah, just get a Shrunken. Yeah, definitely. Not uh, not enough right there. Yeah, Doctor, of course, go to with that magic, and mm -hmm. definitely makes sense to pick one up here. So there he is. He is gonna Geos. go Geos though, because I mean nobody wants to listen. It's fine. <laughs> Geos but pretty good go. on Mage Man though. Yeah, true. For the split pushing uh, and everything. Yeah, the mana burn extra. Yeah. Just like that. Devour. So this is what we're seeing, you know, again, Devour, as fun as he is early on and, you know, great for winning the landing phase even, and obviously Boxy Planet plays it very well. It's like, now what? N now what is he going to bring to the table? Now, yes, he still brings it, it, the idea. He is going to be getting, getting a shortened head, which ideally will allow him to lock somebody down the Hellborn team without them stopping it, unless a swap or something like that, which, by the way, here, so they're gonna run into each other now. People get stunned first. There's lockdown, but it's immediately canceled. And Behemoth Shockwave does so much damage, takes him out. They also pick up Rhapsody. And Doctor Pulser, basically having to run the whole time. Lodestone. Oh, he goes for a Shadow Storm, but he whiffs it. Mage Man still chasing after the Doctor Pulser. By the way, now he has a Mana Rift, but that Nullstone, of course, preventing it. It just doesn't matter though. He just simply blinks and auto attacks. Hatrick coming out for Formless. And now this this start that BMG had is all of a sudden just not there in any advantages anymore and it's just and gonna get worse here shape way or form yeah ophelia Maybe. too is gonna get picked it looks like and all the creeps are as well make is gonna get a pick off on behemoth though he was a bit too far in the tower but look at mage man <laughs> so oh man oh, he's gonna dodge it <laughs> he can't dodge the first one here comes there we go. That's oh, but yeah. Oh, the melody. Is that going to matter? It maybe. No. Bubbles <laughs> blinks in, and now he gets hooked in by Devour, and all of a sudden, Fuzzy Sloth's going to die. What a turn, actually, to finish it off. Uh, and they even got Mage Bane pretty low, too, so that almost worked out very well for BMG, but hey, at least they get something there. Yeah. I mean, the dives were real, and 
they didn't even really get punished. They they lost Fuzzy Sloth and Behemoth, and Mage Bane is still just, you know, continuing with his 600 GPM almost. Yeah. He is, so... But yeah, going back to Devour, it's it's the idea that when he gets the Shrock in, he will be able to ultimate, say, Mage Bane or, or the War Beast even, and keep them in place. Ideally to allow damage and prevent them from dealing damage. Um, but that's where... He's just... Yeah. <laughs> He's Matron's just going for a Frostfield skull. He's Frost Wolf skull. He's uh, confident enough to not die at all from the magic damage. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That that is a curious uh, choice, but I uh, mean, on the one hand, sure. On the on the other hand, like they, I think they just feel so confident in this game already, simply because they have a Mage Bane with 600 GPM and all those levels. I, I do think maybe a little bit has to do well. Yeah, one is that they use to farm so well and they feel confident, which they have every right to. But um, and like I was getting at there, I mean, Dog or Devour, of course, still goes through a shrunken, so he still has that locked in. Ophelia still brings in. In fact, speaking of that, right here, they're going to go in, but here's that response once again. Dr. Bolzer nearly dying off the bat. He is going to survive. Nice Shadow Storm actually hits Mage Man especially, and Mage Man may drop right here. In fact, he does. So the initial lockdown works out in the end, a three for one exchange in favor of BMG. So finally, a very successful fight for BMG after several non-successful fights. And maybe and they have something going here. Yeah, Doctor got sent home though. So, and yeah, so he's going to go top and farm. And I really would have liked to see them just go for bottom. Of course, they don't know that Mage Pain does not have a buyback, but I like they saw that he picked up the Ice Brand. They're probably expecting him to have more for, more farm than he actually does. Mm -hmm. That's true. Well, he didn't, as you mentioned, but they, they're not. I wonder if that port back was a kind of in the moment trying to save him or mm -hmm. if it was a. I, I think it was because, again, he got pr pretty low, actually, early on in that fight. So it might have just been a I don't want to save you type of deal. By the time that Ophelia got to the fight, though, the fight was already over. Oh, Mage Man had already died. Okay, so maybe not then. In that regard, it was yeah. yes and no. Uh, well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, we don't know for sure whether it was actually communicated to be like send me back or if they maybe misplayed there a little bit. But the, the point being, they, they don't push it in the end. He gets farm top, and now he's going to come over to Congor and look to do Congor. But complexity not going to give it up by any means. Now they do not have a shockwave. Of course, they know this. They still feel like they can maybe make, make a play right here. A lot of veiled rots coming out. Behemoth, he's looking Marcus at Marcus is walking in. Okay, Maki is going to expose him. There we go with the Shatter Storm. Here comes the Fowler as well. Shatter Storm going in. Devour Hook is going to miss right there. And drop him down off the map, but so is Dr. Repulsor. He just melts once again. Now Lowe's Tongue goes down. Devour in the midst of it. Nice placement from Rhapsody, but the Mana Rift will cancel it, actually. And now Rhapsody getting low as well as Devo. They both fall. Congor is still alive, by the way. It's definitely going to be taken by Complexity. It's going to be a genocide on top of that. How did that go so well? Doctor just disappeared as soon as he went in. Shockwave wasn't even used, so no. honestly, it was just the bubble silence and uh, auto attacks from Mage Bane. They're, they don't really have a way to lock down the Mage Bane if they don't use Rocket Drill or, you know, opposite charges, because that was used on the, on the Andromeda. It felt like they just overcommitted on the Andromeda and had no resources left for any of the other heroes on the Hellborn team. Yeah. Man. So, yeah. There we go, and Shockwave is still up, so with Token, this is a pretty well it's not easy to push base versus a devourer but i mean they have a chance uh, to at least damage it a bit yeah i don't know if they're gonna see it as you mentioned they're resurrecting here and they just got the token so they still yeah. have time to kind of reset regen and then maybe go for another push once they maybe get their next year items so it looks like that they're gonna do for here at least but or just push the outer towers with the token, because that's, that, that's pretty easy for uh, them to do without risk of getting hooked into a very dangerous location. Yeah. By the way, Maki, he did go that Gnome's Wisdom, and now he even gets an Alchemist Bone to help take care of the puzzle box especially. So, we had Gnome's Wisdom, good to see. Oh, it. look at Devour. That. It's look at Devour. He's getting turned on, actually, by a War Beast. Uh, stun missing from Low Zone. Shadowstrom does hit, though. Gets that go, but look at that shock away from Behemoth. He tablets in, help, ends up getting a couple of kills as a result, and now Lodestone is too going to fall right here. So the start might have been decent for complexity, but in the end it just wasn't. Uh, it feels like Doctor, unfortunately, just is not having enough of an impact. And in fact, there we go. 
GT well played. So, yeah, that, that that's going to do it. I, it. They they realized that they needed to win, have the good lead at least by the mid game, and it just started to go downhill for them. It so. just never happened. I I felt like they that that one little fight in the mid lane where they lost Make and Doctor Repulsor. That that was when complexity had the game. From then on out, all they knew, all they needed to do was just keep farming on the mage bin, and they would have had it. And it's really unfortunate because had they just mobilized that top lane and pushed down those two towers and then gone for Congor, it would have been very possible for them to take the base simply with a good hook. Yeah. So at that point, it was really just like BMG needed to do. Rip